Hi everyone, my name is Johnny and I work as a solution architect for Red Hat and today I thought that I'd showcase how to get started with running Microsoft SQL Server on Red Hat OpenShift. To get you started, there is a GitHub page with a uh, workshop from Microsoft. I ended up forking this repo to point to newer versions of the container image and also to be able to modify some of the scripts that were deploying. Uh, within this folder, you can also find all of the steps and there is a step called prereqs. Uh, it's not strictly necessary to get the database up and running, but there are some tools in there like Azure Data Studio and the SQL command that we'll make use of in the, uh, in the lab. So I'm going to step through the, the deployment lab and I'm going to cheat to run this in my, um, in a script. And to uh, show you that, I'm also going to jump to the command line. So first thing is that we need to have a running OpenShift cluster. And today I've deployed one on, on Azure Public Cloud. Uh, I've also logged in with uh, the cube config, which you can also see with OC who am I, and I will be system admin. So if I go into the deployment, a directory I have a script called run all and this is just running all of the commands that you'll see in the lab page so let's kick this off first things first is that we need to create a project called MS SQL and to show you in the dashboard I don't actually have a project called uh, MS SQL so let's continue with that and the command is then just OC new project MS SQL Next thing, we need to create a secret containing the password for the SA account that's going to be created when we start the SQL Server container. The next thing we need to do is also to create a persistent volume claim. This is so that we're storing the database file in a volume that is persistent. So the containers are ephemeral in nature. So this makes sure that if we need to upgrade the container or restart the container, the database files are uh, stored externally to the container. And then we need to create the deployment itself. And just to show you guys that it's empty as of now, let's go into the MS SQL project and go over to the developer view so that we can see that there is no running uh, container in this project. So let's do that. If you want to check out the deployment file, you can find that in the GitHub repo as well. And now we're just going to wait for the deployment to um, be ready. So it's now going to pull down the container image and it's also going to wait for an external IP address from the Azure cloud so we can connect to the database. And this is how it looks in the UI. And we can see here that the container is creating. And at a couple of more seconds, we will see the SQL Server database up and running, hopefully. And there we go. And now we need to copy this um, external IP address so that we are able to connect to the cluster. As a last step, uh, part of the labs, we also try to get the logs from the running container to make sure that there's no error output uh, from the container. And it looks good. So we're gonna step down into the next step of the labs workshop. And I'm only gonna do the step one, which is testing the SQL Server uh, availability. So just doing this, and just do this. Uh, so we're gonna run this. We'll grab the server IP and then we'll just make sure that we can connect to that and we can. Let's also try to connect through the Azure Data Studio. So again, we need the IP address. So we'll do a new connection. And this is the username SA and we also need to put in the port, which was 31433, 31433, okay. And then we need the password, which we can find here. And paste that in over here. Let's remember that password and connect. And there we go, looks like it's responding. So if you want to get started with running SQL Server on OpenShift, I hope this is enough to get you started. And with that, I'd like to thank you for your time. Have a nice day.